Are you excited? The before and after? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You look like your name should be Belle. Coming with their dad to get some dirt. So they get some dirt. Get some dirt. Nick <laughs> here say get some dirt. Get some dirt. <laughs> some dirt. Alright guys, we are here. It is hot. And we about to get in this AC. By two minutes, you know, look good, man. Wow. How you doing? Nervous. What's going on, man? Not much. How you doing? I'm trying to stay cool. I'm trying to put my jacket on in the lab. I'm in uncharted territory right now. <laughs> you look good. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, how do you feel about <laughs> Well, that's right. Well. <laughs> but no, I did want to ask you a few questions before everything got started, but I couldn't find you. So I was just like, oh, how you feel? I don't know. I know how I feel. There you go. I'm, 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 I'm nervous and excited. It's, mm -hmm. like, it's, it's like a mixture of both, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, and um, the, the many weddings that, that, that I had before. <laughs> This should be very familiar with you. You know what I'm saying? Are you on the other side now? And it's like I'm on the other side now, and I'm saying like, man, why I'm so, you know, I'm so nervous. But I think I think if you wasn't nervous, yeah. I think you should be a little bit Divine nervous. I think you should like if you was just like, nah, man, let's just do this thing, you know. And, the, and I was like, hmm, okay. We did the shake this lady. Yeah. <laughs> we have to check with them three weeks from now. <laughs> Y'all still together, aren't you? <laughs> you okay, Elaine? I guess I am, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'll just... Is it now? Mm-hmm. Nice. Should I leave my pocketbook or should I take yeah. my pocketbook? No, you gotta leave it. Okay. It'll be, it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. My charge card's home. I'm gonna lock it up. Okay. My, my, my purse is in there too. Okay. Need to hold somebody's hand? No. I'm, 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 I think hold I'm up, good. hold up, hold up. I'm gonna go this way.
Dear Heavenly Father, we're so grateful to come here today to stand before you. And we realize, Father God, that in your presence is the fullness of joy. We thank you, Father God, for the union of Rogers and Teresa coming together this day for your glory. You said, Father God, that marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for bringing this couple together. Now let your glory be seen and felt and experienced through this service. This we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord of three strands for our ceremony. The cord of three strands. And Rogers and Teresa, you're choosing to braid these strands together. And these cords are symbolic and they do have a meaning. There's the red cord, which represents God's love and spiritual presence. But more importantly, the blood of Jesus Christ. For without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Then there is the black cord. Rogers, the black cord represents you, your life, and all of humanity that's within your heart. And then there is a white cord. And Teresa, that symbolizes you, your life, the bride, that God is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. Take these cords. As you braid the three strands together, and you had a daughter, so I'm going to braid it. Hallelujah. <laughs> As you braid the three strands together, you're demonstrating that this marriage is more than the two of you coming together. What you're doing is you are actually stating that you both want God to be at the center of your marriage. The scriptures tell us in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 that a threefold cord is not easily broken. Today, your lives will be woven together in the bond of unity and the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Before we proceed, we have some witnesses here in the house with us. Today, this is not a train depot. The Bible said we're two or more gathered together in the name of Jesus. I'm there in the midst. So I want you to know, you're in the house of the Lord. This is the church of the living God. Amen? amen. Someone say amen. amen. Come on now, I wasn't called to do a eulogy. I was called to perform a wedding. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of that, we have some witnesses. Lisa, Eric, I want you to understand that you're not just here standing in proxy. You are here to witness the miraculous power of Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask the two of you to do everything that you can to support this union. You're the neighbor, right, Eric? If he comes over and says, she didn't cook dinner tonight, don't pull out the hand. Grab his hand. Get on the knee and start praying. Hallelujah. Lisa, if she complains that the garbage is overrunning for the last two days, don't take her out to the girls' club. Tell her, let's pray. The effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much. That's what's going to support this way. To the congregants, family, and friends that are gathered here today, you're here as witnesses of God's miraculous power. So I charge you to do everything that you can to keep this union happy and prosperous through the Lord Jesus Christ. I challenge you and I charge you Woe be unto the individual that would try to do anything to make this union be anything other than prosperous and successful throughout their lives. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Rogers, I'm going to ask you a question. At the end, I'm hoping you'll be able to say, I do. But while I'm asking it, you search your heart. Amen? Rogers, do you take Teresa 
as your wife, as your own flesh, to love her even as Christ loved and sacrificed and gave to the church, to protect her and to care for her for the rest and remainder of your lives here on earth, then turn to her and make this profession of your faith. I, Rogers, according to the word of God, leave my parents and I join myself to you to be a husband to you. From this moment forward, we shall be one. Teresa, I have a question to ask you. I'm hoping that at the end you'll also be able to say I do. But first, search your heart. Teresa, do you take Rogers as your husband, submitting yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of the union for the rest of your lives? Then turn to him and make this profession of your faith. I, Teresa, According to the word of God, submit myself to you, to be a wife to you, from this moment forward, we shall be one. Hallelujah. May I have the bride's ring, please? side, not under your feet. You have the responsibility of being the head of the union. You have spiritual responsibility. I want you to wear this ring in remembrance that she is your helpmate. It must never be a shackle of dominance, but always a reminder of faith and of love. Now, Teresa, I want you to place this ring on his finger. And with these things in mind, there is no place in the word of God, Teresa, that gives people the right to dominate one another. Your vows have stated that you're willing to submit to your husband as unto the Lord. Amen. Now, as you place this ring on his finger, and as you do this, say unto him, with this ring, I be wed. I give it to you. As a token of my faith, as a token of my faith, I believe with all my heart, I believe with all my heart that this is forever. That this is forever. It is my love, it is my love and, my faith, and my faith in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
I want the two of you to join your right hands together, please. As a representative of the Lord Jesus Christ, before Almighty God, and in the name of the Father and His Son, and the Holy Spirit that abides, rests, and rules in every born-again believer, you are now husband and wife. You may salute your bride. Now, I want to seal this union with the blessing of God Almighty. We understand that God's word will not return and begin void. It will accomplish that which he pleased and prosper in the area where two he sent it. Peter 3 says, a man and his wife are heirs together of the grace of life. I'm going to read to you your blessing and your inheritance. So listen carefully. This 28, 28, all these blessings will come on you and overtake you. And you will hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle. The increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. And blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, and they shall flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon you in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. And you shall be the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself. As he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, in the fruit of thy ground, and in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open up to thee his good treasure, the heaven to give rain unto thy land in the season, and to bless all the work of thy hands. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord, he has made thee the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. And thou shalt not be beneath, because if you hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them, all these blessings are yours. Amen. 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 Please turn and face our audience here today. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Rogers Jewel.
opportunity to live, love, and serve you. We thank you for the nuptials of my father and Elaine. Now, Lord, thank you for the food that we're about to receive that may nourish us. No hurt, harm, or danger will come near us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, at this time, we're going to let the bride and the groom get their food first, and then you can get up and go that way. We have a nice menu. Um,
James. Don't hurt him, James. <laughs> Get him, Pop. <laughs> I can't keep up with him, man. Oh, Lord, I'm good. Oh, no. I'm in him. Oh, guys that is it it was a success everyone enjoyed their time it was a great event just want to bring you guys along i hope you enjoyed it we did i'm gonna go back in it is hot guys it is hot as you can see i'm gonna go back in here and say my goodbyes and then we're gonna get out of here guys so y'all take care still want you to get some dirt but get us some love too <laughs> later guys